guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Rachel and in today's video I'm going to be giving you my predictions for semi-final two of this year's Eurovision Song Contest so like I said in my previous video where I predicted semi-final one this is based on mainly the pre-parties the live performances we have so far and the music videos so we don't have the rehearsal footage we don't know what the staging is going to look like so these aren't locked in predictions I'll be making proper predictions the day before the semi-final locking them in and then we'll see what happens but as it stands right now, these are the countries that I think are qualifying, the borderlines, and then the people I don't think are going through. They don't have much of a shot. So what I'm going to do similarly is start with the running order, go through each country and tell you basically the verdict. But obviously subscribe if you haven't already. I make similar content to this. And obviously please check out my semi-final one prediction video if you haven't already. And yeah, I'm excited to hear in the comments exactly who you think is going through to semi-final two as well. Um, I'd be interested. And I think this one's a bit more open. There's a few kind of like red herrings in here, I think. Um, so it'll be quite difficult, I think personally, to get 10 out of 10 in this one. To get six, I think would be good. But there are about six countries which I think are sure qualifiers and then four which I'm a bit wavery on but we'll see. I reckon they're interchangeable so everyone in the comments is going to have those four that I think are a bit eh, maybe in or out so we'll see. So the country that is opening semi-final two is an Kind of odd choice, I think, from the producers, but we'll see what happens. It's Denmark Riley with Breaking My Heart. So for this song, I picked up kind of after a few listens and a couple of people mentioned in the comments that this doesn't have an intro. So it's opening the whole show and it's just going to be bang into the song. A bit startling, but I don't know. This one, for me, is a question mark. I think it's modern and it's fresh and it's catchy in areas, but is it a live song? I don't think it's a live song and so far from his pre-party performances and from the performance of a national final he didn't convince me that his vocals were strong enough live and that the song could be carried live in general so for me it is a question mark it could go through if they nail the staging if they change the staging concept i think get rid of those kind of love hearts and the cheesy backing dancers do something a little bit more slick and polished do something that sweden might do for instance i think that kind of slick staging would benefit the song so much. But as it stands right now, I don't think this is qualifying, but I could change my mind. So second in the running order slot is Armenia Brunette with Future Lover. So this one I think is an interesting place to put Armenia. But in my opinion, given that it's a televote only semi-final and Brunette always brings really interesting vocals at the pre-parties, this will qualify no matter what slot it was put in. So I think this will go through and it will break that kind of curse of the second running order spot. I am convinced that this is going through as of today. The only way I think it might get lost is if the staging collapses because the music video is very powerful, it's strong imagery. If they can't kind of recreate any of those elements on stage or at least bring something else, a different idea that is just as impactful, this might get lost and because it's quite early on, but I am confident they're going to bring something good because last year with Rosa Lynn, they brought really interesting staging. I think one of the best stagings of the year. So I am quite confident this one is going to qualify. And then third in the running order, this is my first dead in the water of the whole semi-final, Romania. Theodore Andre with Degete, DGT off and on. Um, yeah, I don't think this one's going through. From what I saw at the national final performances that he did, he did the one with the disaster staging and then one just on his own. Vocals have been strong. Staging has not been strong. They need to really change it up when it comes to the staging and they need to really get across the main selling point of this song, which is Theodore and his really good vocals. Everything else about this song, I personally think can get in the bin, um, but I'm not sure the general public will agree with me. This one, I have got it as an NQ, but I don't think it's coming last and I think because of the tempo of the song, because of di the diaspora as well, I think this does have a shot of qualifying and it will be a shot qualifier to me anyway. But right now, I'm going to leave it as an NQ, but we'll see what happens after the rehearsals. And then fourth in the running order is Estonia, Alika with Bridges, our first proper ballad of the year, I think. So this one for me is definitely qualifying. I think she's a dark horse. And I've said in previous videos as well, but sometimes I think ballads, um, people kind of write off a ballad when it comes to public vote because they just think public kind of snore through ballads at Eurovision. But that has not been the case in previous contests. And I do believe that she has kind of star power 
and a really good voice that it will go through on a public vote only semi-final. I just think it has something about it. If she brings that piano thing on stage as well with the pianola, the self-playing piano, I think that is quite gimmicky, but also people might remember her performance for that anyway. So it is a good selling point for their song. So yeah, I'm, co I'm convinced this is going through. And I think there will be significantly less ballads in the final this year. So if she does go through, she will stand out so much this year. So fifth in the running order is Belgium and it's Gustav with Because of You. So a lot of people I have seen have put this as an NQ or a borderline. For me, I'm actually really confident that it's qualifying. I think there's something very classic about this, very up-tempo and very catchy. And I do think there will be a community of people who really vote hard for this song. I think it will stand out that 90s vibe is very on trend right now. I think he's kind of tapping into that demographic, maybe people who have lived through like the, the nightclub scenes in the 90s who are gonna relive that through the song, potentially could vote for this, but also because it's quite on trend as well in the current sound in the pop sphere, I guess, there will be like a younger generation who will vote for this, but also it's got that kind of LGBTQ plus appeal as well which maybe not all of the songs in the semi-final have so maybe there will be a vote for that as well which I think is great so I am convinced that this is going through and I won't be shocked if it does I think a lot of others will be but for me I do think this will qualify quite safely. Sixth in the running order is Cyprus so Andrew Lambrou with Break a Broken Heart so I do think he's going to struggle a little bit because it is televote only. His voice is like the key selling point of the song and if he had a jury here he'd be sailing through but what I'm kind of sold on here is the sort of imagery I think they might bring on stage. So far in the music video, it was quite powerful imagery. I think also if he really nails the vocals, if he shows off the high notes and the powerful falsetto, people will vote for this. So I have got it down right now as a qualifier, but we'll see. Again, it's a ballad, so he has to really sell it. But I do think it has substance to it. And I do think Cyprus will benefit also from Greece being in the semi-final. So they probably will get 12 points in that respect from the televote. So that is a done deal already. But it's just whether he's enough to convince other people to vote. We'll see. But right now, I think he's qualifying. And then seventh in the running order is Iceland. Dilia with power. So I've got this one down here as a question mark. It's borderline for me. It might get lost within the sea of other electronic up-tempo songs in this semi-final. It probably will be overshadowed by Austria. It could even be overshadowed by a country like Georgia, just through the up-tempo vibe. Even the, the rock songs in here, like Slovenia and Australia, I just think, even though her vocals are really good, like one of the best vocalists of the year, without having the juries in the semi-final, who's going to reward this song? And it's whether people really like that drum and bass vibe. I personally love it, but it's whether other people will love it. And for me right now, I don't see this going through. So it is a question mark. But if it does go through, I'll be really happy. Eighth in the running order is Greece. For me, this is another dead in the water one, unfortunately. I really do like his voice and I really do like his kind of vibe of songwriting. And he just needs a bit more guidance, I think, with production of electronic components in the song. Um, but yeah, I think out of the ballads in this semi-final, so you've got Lithuania, Albania, even Armenia, Estonia, Cyprus. I do think this one kind of falls at the bottom, personally, in the list of all of those songs. He is very young. I am convinced he's going to do a good performance, but it's whether the song kind of like leaves a lasting impression on people. And I don't think the song has that kind of quality about it. Not very many people have ranked this high in their rankings anyway. So I don't expect this to get too many points. Of course, there's Cyprus here, which will probably give them 12. But other than that, I really don't see this getting loads and loads of points. So I have got it as an NQ, unfortunately. And then ninth in the running order, we have Poland. Blanca with Solo. So you guys might be a little bit shocked about this one, but I have put this one as a question mark. Some people think this is absolutely not qualifying. Some people have put this one through. I think it's borderline. I think, yes, Poland has the diaspora vote every year. You can't deny it. It's there. It's there for Lithuania as well. And it's there for Romania. And it does kind of help them sometimes if they're on that borderline position. But because there's no juries here to really mark Poland down for the vocals or the lack of good vocals in this performance and I expect the performance we get on the night because it's public vote only 
that barrier has been removed but it's with the public see through this as well if the public watch this performance and notice a bad vocal will they vote for it even people who are in the diaspora for polish diaspora for instance in the uk will they vote for this because it's poland or will they watch it and think is this really worth my vote that's the key difference and i can't really call it i can't call what's going to happen with this one so i have put it down as a question mark um but i'll be terribly terribly upset if this qualifies over something else if this qualifies over something like iceland or cyprus or belgium i will be really upset i think um but yeah that's it is what it is i guess so 10th in the running order is Slovenia. They've got a really good running order slot, I think, because they are coming after Poland and Greece. And I think they'll bring a bit more professionalism and probably a slicker performance. So we'll see what happens. But I do think this is going through Slovenia back in the final since 2019. And I reckon they will do something um, on the stage that they did in their live performance already, which was just a really fab fabulous performance anyway. Um, Joker out, I've seen just in general they've got good vibes I think they will bring that on the stage the song is catchy it's in the native language but I think it is transferable it's got a memorable hook and it has a good fan base so I do expect this to qualify and I think it will finish quite high up in the semi-final 11th in the running order is Georgia Iru with Echo so I have also put this down as a qualifier it's got this ethnic vibe about it that not many other songs in the semi-final actually have so it will stand out in that respect if you were voting for uh, lyrics alone potentially this could not do as well as we expect but i think people won't be listening to the lyrics they'll be listening and watching the vocal performance and whatever kind of interesting staging they bring and i do expect the staging to be quite stand out because georgia in the past have done things like that so i am expecting this to qualify but yeah it will be so great to see georgia back in the final it's been so long <laughs> but they really deserve it this time i think and then in 12th place in the running order san marino pete jacks with like an animal i think this will not qualify unfortunately it's competing directly with slovenia and australia in terms of the rock songs and it does kind of fall a bit flat in comparison to those two it is a good song i like it and i think the guys are very charming the lead singer has a good voice but when you're thinking about San Marino in general with the televote, it hasn't in the past been that great. And I don't think they're really pushing hard enough this year for extra votes to put them into at least 10th place. So I don't see this qualifying. I'll be shocked if it goes through. 13th in the running order, I think the contender to possibly win the semi-final. Austria, so Taya and Selena with Who the Hell is Edgar. This is definitely going through. It could win the televote or at least top two in the televote for the semi-final. It's kitsch, it's interesting, it's got a good message, it's got a catchy hook, it's got a transferable hook, so no matter what language you speak, you can sing this, especially the po-po-po bit. Yeah, this is just written in such a good way, so I do expect this to do well, um, and we'll see what happens in the final for this one, I think. And then 14th place, Albania. So Albania for me is also a qualifier. Do Ye by um, Albina and Familia Kalmendi. This one a lot of people have put as an NQ. I don't think the bookies have this in either, but I just think, you know, Albania in the past have brought things like this to the table and qualified. I'm thinking back to 2021, 2019, I, I, and 2018 I do expect this to go through I think they've got this family element on stage people will warm to it Albina already has just fantastic vocals which I think people will be mesmerized by so yeah I do expect this to go through it hasn't got much competition in terms of other ethnic songs maybe Georgia but they're bringing different perspectives again like in semi-final one um, between the two ethnic songs so I do expect this to qualify and then 15th in the running order we have Lithuania Monica Linkete with Stay it's not a personal qualifier of mine but I do expect this one to go through I think it's quite late in the running order people will remember it and it is one of the few ballads we have in the semi-final so it will stand out plus her vocals have always been really good at the pre-parties and in the national final performance i think we also have the diaspora vote you can't discount that yeah this is qualifying it's got potential i think to do quite well in the final with the juries especially but i will be making a different video regarding that later so yeah this will qualify i'm pretty confident of it and then closing the semi-final, we have one of my favourites this year, my fifth place, Australia, Voyager with Promise. So I do think this will definitely qualify. I think it, they could potentially get Australia's 
one of Australia's best televotes ever because they do have this like epic feel to them. Closing the show as well, especially with that ending to the song, it's going to be absolutely epic. It'll be at the forefront of people's minds and I do expect this to do really well. So this is qualifying. Whether it will finish in the top 10 in the final, I'm not entirely sure what the juries will think, but I think this will be rewarded at least really decently in the semi-final. So just to recap all of my predictions for semi-final two, Armenia, Estonia, Belgium, Cyprus, Slovenia, Georgia, Austria, Albania, Lithuania and Australia. And the countries that I think are missing out this year are Denmark, Romania, Iceland, Greece, Poland and San Marino. So let me know down below, like I said in the comments, what you guys think. Who do you think is going to qualify? Who do you think is going to non-qualify? Maybe put it in the order you think it's going to happen as well. And stay tuned for more content coming soon. I hope you have a good weekend and I'll see you. Bye.